Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you top 10 best must have Android applications. So first, we have Floating Toucher. So with this app installed on your phone, you will have an icon that will stay on your screen no matter wherever you go. And you can just place it anywhere you want it to be. And after you tap it, you will have various quick settings actions, shortcuts, applications managed in a circle bar. So you can just choose what you want inside the circle bar. You can add various actions like app cleaner to clean, free up your RAM and boost up the speed of your phone. So from settings you can just change how the circle bar is going to look. You can change the color, transparency level and you can also change the icon and its size and the transparency level and from here you can just manage and add whatever you want inside the circle bar you can add various actions applications and shortcuts so various actions are available like uh, using it as, as a menu key back key uh, you can add various toggles so that's all about this application it's like a multitasking application and uh, next we have Fiddly so Fiddly helps you to browse content of your favorite sites RSS feeds and YouTube channels Fiddly manages all the content for you at a single place so from here you can just choose to add uh, various sites YouTube channels RSS feeds and adding anything to your list is very easy just navigate to the list to the thing that you want to add and simply hit the add button here and it will be managed for you so you can just choose to add various sites YouTube channels you can even search for them and the UI of this application is managed properly it's fast and easy to use and you can also choose between various layouts and sharing options are also available in Fiddly so you can just share any article you like over various social medias so that's all about this application next we have line tools so this app has got a bunch of tools that you might need sometime. So here you have ruler. So using this application is very easy to measure. You can use your phone to measure the length of anything by dragging the two lines here. So it's very easy and you can just similarly we have various other tools like protector. and you can also use the camera to measure angles so this might be a useful feature and then we have a compass a level meter sound level meter so you can just use it to measure the amount of sound around you and below here we have stopwatch timer calendar and then we have flashlight And then we have mirror, magnifier, QR code reader that you might use very often, a calculator, unit, unit converter. So you can just convert a various units like area, weight, volume and many others. So you can just choose between various units and it's very easy to use. And then we have size comparison of various countries and you also have a feature to set your favorite tool and it will be displayed on the favorites here next we have battery SD so it's a battery monitor app for your Android device and with this app you will have various information regarded to your battery displayed 
So from here you can just view how long your phone is going to last on various tasks like music playback, internet browsing, video playback and talk time. And from here you can just view the time required for your phone to charge via AC or USB and the time your phone will provide in 2D games, 3D games and various other activities. You can, you can also monitor temperature, voltage and have various information regarding to your battery. And here you will have a graph of battery charging and discharging along with time. So you can just view how long your battery lasts. And from here it will take you to your inbuilt battery uses so you can just see how what applications are occupying your battery so you can just reduce the battery consumption and you also have uh, various other features like enabling the battery percentage displayed on the status bar so that's all about this application so with this app you will know a lot more things regarding to your battery life and next we have spot status bar so when your phone is in full screen mode while browsing or playing 2d 3d games the status bar won't be visible to you so with this app enabled you can just swipe down from the top part of your screen to have access to the status bar so you might require the status bar on any point status bar. So, so you can just swipe down from the top part of your screen to view the status bar and swipe it again to pull down the notification menu so this app can be helpful and from the settings menu you can change the timeout settings choose how long you want the status bar to be on the top and we have some gesture settings so with next we have AVG cleaner so it's a cleaner application and with this app you can monitor and erase your device memory used by unuseful applications so you can just see I can clean 33.28 MB of cache from my phone and you also have the information here about which app is generating how much of cash so with a single tap you can clean it and save space from your phone similarly you can just clean the history of various applications like browsers google play store youtube all at once and you also have a feature called auto clean so you can just choose after how long you want this application to clean the cache of your phone I think you should use such applications to clean your cache memory in regular basis and maintain your phone so that's all about this application and you also have a feature to delete all the call logs and, the, and messages at once so that's all about this application next up we have finger shortcut so you can use simple gesture to navigate through various applications using this app so creating a gesture is very very easy you just need to add a gesture draw a gesture type its name and then you can just choose what you want to do after that uh, after that gesture is drawn so you can just use open system settings open any applications recent app uh, whatsapp conversation you can call anyone and you also have some root features to reboot your phone reboot into recovery mode and various other features so you can just use this app to navigate between various applications uh, very easily and quickly So there, it's very fast to use this application to navigate 
for various applications. You can also open any internet address by drawing a simple gesture. So that's all about this application. Uh, it's one of the best Android applications, so just give this app a try. Next, we have English Dictionary. So you can use this app to find meaning of any word offline. So all the word meanings are saved inside this application and you won't require internet access to find any meaning. And from the settings menu, you can just choose the font size, line, sp uh, line spacing and we waste all the basic settings so that's all about this application it's the best offline dictionary for Android and next we have backgrounds HD so here you can just see uh, you, this app will find a lot of wallpapers for your phone you can just search wallpapers on a basis of various categories ranking recent wallpapers and downloading a wallpaper is very very easy so from here you can just set the image as a wallpaper or set it set it as a contact and from below here you can just save the wallpaper inside your gallery and use it whenever you want so it's one of the best applications to find stunning wallpapers for your Android device so now moving on to the last app we have silent camera so with this app you can take continuous shots without any sort of sound so it, by, so by tapping the icon here it will start taking various shots and tap it again and tapping it again will stop it and you can just choose between various shots that your phone has taken the amount of photos that it will take per second depends on your phone's cpu and from here you can just choose the best start and save it and you also have various uh, normal settings like exposure flashlight uh, flashlight uh, and many other settings so that was all on top 10 best must have applications for Android. So this wraps up the video. So if you have any queries, just comment below or hit me on Facebook. And stay subscribed for more new videos. So that's all. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.